everyone, and welcome back to Tantrum House. We are excited this morning because we just launched Steam Court on Prefundia.com, and we're going to review it on the show today. Profundia is an online platform for promoting products before they come to Kickstarter. So watch our review and then go check it out. And then one other note, tomorrow is April 11th, which is International Tabletop Day. So we're going to be hanging out with our friends at Boardwalk, Greenville's purveyor of fine games. Uh, tomorrow, playtesting the game and playing a bunch of other games with friends. So join us if you can. Right. Now let's go into our first ever Steam Court Terrible 2 Minute Review. <laughs> Steam Court is a 4-12 to 12 player game from, in my opinion, one of the most promising board game companies out there. This gateway party game is based on traditional card play mechanics, but it includes unique character abilities and a flexible goal system that allows for several different ways to win. In the Steam Court, players take on the role of court engineers, and they're trying to build their machines the fastest by getting rid of all their gear cards. Players must play their cards in matching sets of higher-valued cards. If they can't play or they choose not to, they turn their character card around to the pass side, and play continues around the table until everyone is passed. The deck is made up of uh, numbered cards and then of several special cards. Uh, the player who wins the trick each time then leads off the next trick. At the end of each quarter, after all of the cards have been played, players then reseat around the table based on the order that they went out in and become the personal engineer to a new member of the royal court. Those court characters then grant the players special privileges. So if I went out first during the first quarter, I would become the engineer to the queen, and she would grant me the ability to uh, lead off the first trick, to get rid of my two worst cards, and then to gain the two best cards of another player at the table. So the sooner you go out, the better the privilege you gain. And some of the privileges at the bottom of the table are actually pretty painful. <laughs> at the end of the fourth quarter, uh, you end the game and then you win based on which rule variant you're using. If it's a casual party game that you're playing, where people have just been coming and going all night, then it's just whoever's in the queen seat at the end of the fourth quarter win. is the person who wins. But if you're looking for a more strategic game, there are victory point and trick taking conditions that use the gear tokens. All right, so I think that covers the basics of the gameplay. Are we going to raid our own game? Definitely. All right, let's talk about the mechanic. I really like how this game is easy to learn but difficult to master. There's a definite strategy involved in how you play your cards so that you try to go out first, but you're also impacted by the luck of the draw. I like that there's a court hand, that extra hand of cards that's played, that's dealt out each time, because there's different character abilities that interact with that, and then also you don't necessarily know how many cards of each type are out there, so you can't count cards. Theme. So uh, I obviously love the theme for this game. I've been doing all the design work for it, and uh, I just super dig the steampunk genre and everything that goes with that. The hierarchical nature of it fits perfectly with the game. Uh, the illustrations that Greg has been working on have been fantastic, and uh, I like the little nuances we've been able to include with like the queen character having the same gear as the 12 card and like so on. And then one of my favorite things is the uh, the properly addressed as title thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I hate when I'm at a party and I can't remember that girl's name and she's taking forever to take her turn. It works out perfectly to just be able to say, uh, Your Royal Majesty, it's your turn. So there's a lot of like, nice little things that are included as a result of that. Um, tell us about replayability. The game takes but only about 10 to 15 minutes to play. And as players show up, they can just grab a character card, jump in, and they're ready to go. The whole game only takes about an hour altogether, and as we've been playtesting it, players have wanted to just go that extra quarter each time. So it's definitely a catchy game, very replayable. Enjoyability. Um, yeah, definitely enjoyable. What, what we should do is like include all of the like tweets and Facebook posts about, we love this game. Uh, it's been fantastic to play. It's one of my favorite uh, group games to play. I, we've, I've been playing this game for like nine years, and it's still one of my favorite just all overall games to play as a group. Um, I think, you notice how my thumb is sliding just a little bit? <laughs> I think uh, it's great to be able to go from the Vagabond all the way up to the Queen, and that win six success at the end is fantastic. So, Cantor House gives Steam Court too big, huge, ginormous, thumbs up. I'm getting like old man hair in my nose. Yeah, you it's gotta like clip that out, out, Ryan. Clip it out. I tried, but I don't Makes know you like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Like you, you, those I got an attachment on my razor and it. You're I supposed to be able to make it 30 before you get to um, You gotta pluck it, man. Man up. I'm just more mature than most 30 year olds. <laughs> Oh. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Tantrum House. Do what we're talking because I was looking at you when I said. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Tantrum House. 
I don't actually remember my second line. Hello, Hello. I'm Ryan. Oh. Hey everyone, I'm Will. And I'm Ryan, and welcome back to Tantrum House. Thank you, Ryan. Good job. One more time. Am I supposed to say welcome you back? You did perfect. I'm not supposed to say back. I'm supposed to say welcome to. Yeah, do okay. that instead. Sorry. Hey everyone, I'm Will. And I'm... I'm sorry, I was swallowing right when you said it. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Tantrum House. <laughs> 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 yeah, I felt welcome.